Hey, what is going on guys? TDS Force 15 here. And today we have the second half of the season simulation plus the trade deadline where probably nothing's going to happen in the trade deadline. So uh, we're just going to simulate up to the trade deadline first and uh, we're going to look at our team and uh, odds are I'm not going to do anything at the trade deadline. I actually might just simulate through it. But uh, here we go. We'll get to the simulation right now. All right, so we are into the simulation here. We're going to do this part before the trade deadline, and there's going to be a whole other section after the trade deadline. I'll spoil it now that uh, we don't do anything at the trade deadline. Uh, so Because our team's pretty much set, so there's not really much to do. Our team's already stacked enough. So we beat the Tampa Bay Lightning there 3 to nothing. get another shutout for Jack Campbell. Then we got a home game against the Boston Bruins here. Hopefully we can pick up our 34th win on the season, and we do. So in that week, we have two shutouts there. We had five goals, four in two games, and no goals against. So this week, we got three road games here. First one's against Buffalo. We win that one, 3-1. to one. Then we got one in Winnipeg, and uh, hopefully we can pull it with a victory after that one. Then we got one in Florida. And uh, so we got a three road game week here, and uh, the, first, the second game against the Winnipeg Jets ends up in a loss for the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, that is was a six to three loss and uh, we moved to 35 14 and six and now we're taking on the 28 23 and four Florida Panthers and we beat them six to two so pretty good uh, week there after that double back to back shutout week in the last week uh, so you can't really match that every week so in the third week after the all-star break we win the first game against the new jersey devils four to three and we got a home game against the canadians and then a road game against the panthers so a uh, little cloak a little tight week here uh, if we can win this game here we can uh, go on a little streak here of three games so Taking on the Montreal Canadiens, the rivals of the Leafs, and we lose to them 3-0. We get shut out once again. Um, some games our team gets shut out. Some games our team scores like eight goals, but it's uh, it's very different each game. So ne next game against the Florida Panthers, we do go on to beat them, I believe. Then we got a couple more games here before the All-Star break. This one's against the the Pittsburgh Penguins uh, and it is a road game and we do go on two 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 what do we do we beat them two nothing pick up another shutout for Jack Campbell and then following that shutout for Jack Campbell we got back-to-back -back road games against the Boston Bruins and uh, <clears throat> the first one we beat them three to two and then the the following game we shut them out three to nothing. So two shutouts in three games, and then three victories in three games. And now we go on to face our arch rivals, the Montreal Canadiens. They are not having such a good season, and we can pick up our forty second W, but we do not. We lose to them for the second time in this simulation section thing. So uh, we got a game here against the Colorado Avalanche and then this Deharnay guy went to waivers and we decided to decline that so we beat the Avalanche 5-2 to two. then we have a game here against the Predators uh, and then one more game before the all before the trade deadline my bad so we lose to the Predators 6-2 to two. and we got one more game here against the St. Louis Blues and we got a trade offer there for Stuart Percy but we're definitely not getting rid of him and then we uh, lose to the St. Louis Blues, and that should do it for this simulation section. So we're going to get back for the trade deadline, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so we are at the trade deadline. Um, I have actually decided that um, I don't want to waste time, and I just kind of want to simulate right through the trade deadline because I know I'm not going to make any deals, and uh, it's kind of pointless because our team is already set. So I'm just going to simulate past right through this date, and we're going to see what happens from there. Uh, so once it pops up that uh, it's the trade deadline there uh, So yeah trade negotiations continue and we're just gonna go right through it because uh, we're not gonna make any deals either way So it's it's not that big of a deal. So uh, we'll let this go and uh, Yeah, there we go once once it loads uh, I'm kind of keeping up on Twitter right now. So sorry if the commentary is not that uh, Good right now, but we'll let this simulate through and uh, yeah Once it simulates, and uh, I'll keep you updated on uh, if we beat the Rangers here, because it's a big game in this season. So, uh, duh, 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 duh. 
At this point, we are 42, 18, and 6. Druan has 26 goals. Hubert has 45 apples. Uh, he's also plus 7. And Fanoff's leading us with 129 penalty minutes. That is how you lead a team. That's how you be a captain, guys. That is how you be a captain. All right, so we beat New York Rangers there, three to nothing, and I'm actually going to get right back to simulation. We got a few weeks left in the season, and uh, it should be lots of fun. So, back to simulation now. All right, so we got the last little simulation section here uh, before the end of the season, end of the regular season. So uh, we're starting it off with a loss to the New York Islanders, four to three, and then we got a game against the Washington Capitals. We shut them out three to nothing there uh, for another victory and another shutout for Jack Campbell. Uh, next up in the next week, we have the Calgary Flames, and uh, hopefully we can pick up our. 45th victory there and we'll move even closer to that coveted 50 win season so uh, we lose to the Calgary Flames now we got a game against the Dallas Stars and the Vancouver Canucks so we beat Dallas 9 to 1 huge victory there Campbell stood his ground only giving up one goal and uh, we scored nine goals as well to help it out so we lose to Vancouver there and then we got three games this week uh, all at home First one is against Ottawa, and we do go on to end up to lose that game 3-2. to two. Now, next one is against the Rangers. We get shut out 5 nothing. Then we play Tampa Bay Lightning, and uh, this one hopefully will end up in a victory. And no, it doesn't. So we go 0-3 in that week to move to 45-23-7 on the season. Now, we got a game against the Montreal Canadiens. We win that one 3-2. to two. And then we got a game against the Philadelphia flyers here uh, to try and pick up our 47th win on the season and uh, try to pick up this uh, 50 win season so we do go on to shut out the Philadelphia Flyers three to nothing here uh, so we're three wins away from 50 wins on the season and uh, we got three games left so we win the first one against the Flyers two to one then we uh, I got a game against the Sabres. We get shut out there three to nothing. And then we got last game of the season here against the Montreal Canadiens. Actually, I think there's more after this. So we lose to the Montreal Canadiens there. So that'll we're still at 48 wins on the season. Um, and I believe that might be it for the season. Nope, we got two more games. Sorry, two more games. Uh, first one is against Carolina. We beat them five to two. And then last game of the season, if we win this, we can get that 50 win season. But no, we don't. We lose to the Philadelphia Flyers so uh, we finished at 49 wins so that's it for this uh, little simulation section we'll go to the stats right now all right so we're at the end of the season here um, we're gonna check out the stats and all that good stuff and then we're gonna go see who we play in the first round of the playoffs uh, so it should be good to fin off finish off this season we finished off with 49 wins so one went away from that 50 win mark so we finished at 49 25 and 8 Hopefully that is good enough to win the President's Trophy. I really hope it is so we can win back-to-back -back President's Trophy. So here we go in the Western Conference. The leader in the Western Conference was the Columbus Blue Jackets with 105 points. You can check out the rest of them. They had four teams over 100 points. Now in the Eastern Conference, yes, we have 106 points. So that means we do win the President's Trophy unless uh, some other teams have another game left or something. Uh, so yeah, if Ottawa still has one more game, they could potentially take our spot and knock us down to fourth. But hopefully we can stick in this number one spot. Uh, so yeah, you can see the rest of the teams there. So let's go to goals. The leader in the league was DeFriska with 94 goals. Uh, and then we had nobody up there. So assists, Spezza led the league with uh, 59 assists. And uh, Huberto was there in fifth with uh, 50 assists. So uh, we had uh, the eighth place in assists. Now points, Hendrik Sedin led the league with 89 points. And then uh, there's nobody from our team up there in points. Uh, for wins, Jack Campbell led the NHL with 49 because he played every single game. Didn't give Jonas Hiller any chances to screw anything up. So same percentage, Hendrik Lundqvist stuck up there in number one spot with a .933 save percentage. And then Jack Campbell made it up to eighth with a .925 save percentage. Now goals against... 
Flynn moved up to number one with a 2.05 goals against average. And Jack Campbell moved his way up to second with a 2.07 goals against average. So good all-around season for Jack Campbell and our team. We hopefully won the President's Trophy for back-to-back -back years. Would have really liked to pick up that 50th win. But uh, what can you do? We're going to simulate up to this day see what we can do here and uh see who we take on in the first round of the playoffs so hopefully they did the other teams didn't have any more games left uh in the season so uh we can continue on and uh we can have this pre president's trophy so uh we ended up with 90 49 wins you can see there all that good stuff uh expecting a bit more next year but they only asked us for 47 wins that's kind of peculiar so we're taking on the washington capitals in the first round of the playoffs so we're going to go through and we're going to check uh who everybody's playing in the first round of the playoffs so we're going to go to the playoff tree nhl and uh, you can see here we did win the eastern conference we were in first place so we're taking on the washington capitals who their eighth seed now carolina's taking on florida pittsburgh's taking on the rangers and uh, ottawa's taking on the devils now um in the western conference columbus is taking on minnesota colorado's taking on detroit anaheim's taking on the kings and uh nashville is taking on the blues so those are the eight matchups for the first round of the playoffs. So we're going to get into that in the next episode. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.